हेलो एंड वेलकम टू एजुकेशन एट एसएसबीजे ऑनलाइन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स वी वेर इन चैप्टर मोशन ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ एंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्यू ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चंस वी शेल कंटिन्यू विथ फ्यू मोर एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चंस इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल्स आर फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज अबाउट द डिस्टेंस वर्सेस टाइम ग्राफ दैट इज ऑन वाई एक्सिस वी हैव अ डिस्टेंस एंड ऑन एक्स एक्सिस वी हैव टाइम एंड देर आर थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट्स यू कैन कंसिडर देम एज थ्री मूविंग बॉडीज दे आर मूविंग एंड देर मोशन इज ड्रॉन हियर ऑन द ग्राफ प्लीज रिकॉल इफ यू फाइंड अ डिस्टेंस वर्सेज टाइम graph contains a straight line not a curve that means all these vehicles are in what type of motion uniform motion and to remind you what is uniform motion uniform motion is a motion where object travels covering equal distance in equal intervals of time equal intervals of time right so since all these lines are in straight line therefore all these three are in uniform motion so one point is very clear here the first question is which of the three is traveling fastest that means we should know the speed of a b as well as c and compare them we all know the speed is found by the equation distance divided by time right now in this case in the case of graph how can quickly the speed can be calculated and the simplest way is to find the slope and what is slope slope is slope of a graph is just A ratio of y and x axis. So, numerator y axis, and below it's a x axis. So, y axis divided by x axis. Now, what is the physical quantity which is there in y axis? It is distance, right? So, we have distance here on y axis, time here on x axis, and basically what we are finding. because if you divide distance by time you get speed right so the slope of slope of distance versus time will give you speed right it's very simple now you just find out the slope and how can we find out the slope now let us consider vehicle b right and i'll draw a straight line here till here right so when you draw a straight line here you get a triangle a rectangle triangle where this will be y axis right and this is the x axis you can do it even for a remaining vehicles let us take vehicle c i have drawn a straight line here and i am ending it till here only because i know that this vehicle has started from here so let me join here this will give you y axis from here to here distance and from here to here distance it's a x axis right and y by x is speed in the same way if i can join this particular point of a till here and y till here it's almost approximately it started from here and so that becomes a rectangle triangle now you can see on the picture i have drawn and made a rectangle triangle below every line why because i can find the length of y and length of x of every vehicle for c this is length of y and this one is length of x 
in the same way here for a length of y and this is length of x right and if you can find y by x that will give you speed now you need not calculate exactly what is the speed you can quickly tell here which of the y by x is greater and to tell you that you need not always draw a rectangle below this line from the ends end point of this you can even draw for example for a you can even draw here see here i have drawn this is y and this is x so proportionately x and y values will change suppose for other vehicles for c you can draw here you can draw even down and in the same way you can draw for b here right now you see this is y and this is x of a right and then this is y and this is x of c now for b this one is y and x of b now you can compare now y by x of all a b c it's very clear that the length of y here is much more greater than the length of x right now you can very easily tell that the value of y by x of b is greater and that is why the speed of vehicle b is greater now why did we do so much of explanation in this question is to understand and recall that slope of distance versus time is speed otherwise just by looking at the graph you can tell okay it's more at height so y value is more and therefore it's very easy that b is at higher speed we'll go for the next question and next question is are all three ever at the same point on the road now look at the graph if you find intersection of these two lines that means these two vehicles that is b and a in this case are at the same distance in this particular time right this is the time and if you can see it's here of vehicle c and a here is the intersection of these two lines at this particular time these two c and a are at the same distance here but in no case they are all together intersecting at each other right this is the point of intersection where b and c are at particular distance but in no case that all three are intersecting at one point therefore for this question are all three ever at the same point on the road simple answer no right because they don't intersect at a point we will go ahead for next question and what is our next question that is option c how far c has traveled when b passes a when b passes a now we have to find out where is the point at which the b is passing a and this is the point there is a inter intersection between b and a here the question is at this particular point how much c has traveled how far has c traveled when b passes a right so you can mark this point so at this particular time b passes a which is almost equal to this much of distance right so this is the mark for us which will help us to find out how much c has traveled so this is the point which tells us that b has passed a so here b passes a right now where was c that time c was somewhere here 
right but when did c start c has not started from here at zero it has started from this particular point right so we should not take the entire distance to measure the distance traveled by c we have to start with let us make a line in different color here so we can easily make out so this is the point where we can fix for c when b passes a but what is the starting point starting point is here because c has traveled from this particular distance so if you can take this particular portion on y axis right so we have to find out how much is the distance c is traveling please recall we are being asked to find out the distance traveled by c now this much is the distance traveled by c this much is how much all this graph are divided into small boxes now how many boxes are there here between this distance let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 boxes 10 divisions 10 divisions of distances of distance the c has covered now what do you mean by one division of distance how to calculate very simple now you look at this you look any look at any range of this distance on y axis suppose from here to here how many divisions are there if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seven divisions gives how much of distance 4 meter distance right Seven division gives four meter distance. That means each division is how much of distance here? So one division is four by seven meter, right? If one division is four by seven meter, ten division is equal to ten into four by seven. I hope you have understood. We have calculated one division value, and how this one division value has come. Seven boxes cover four meter distance. You can see here. Here also you can see seven boxes cover four meter distance. So that means one box will be giving four by seven meter distance. Now that is equal to forty by seven, which is equal to five point seven approximately meter distance. So how much C has traveled? when b passes a this much of distance which is equal to 5.7 meter we'll go for the last question here and what is that last question how far b traveled and what is that b b is here right how far b traveled by the time it passes c by the time b passes c and where is b passes c somewhere here understood so this must be somewhere we can take it as here right so we will get the approximate values it appears as if it is in between right now let us find out what is that particular distance there if you can make a time line here it meets a time axis here at this particular time we can draw a straight line on distance axis you get almost here and therefore we need to take the total distance covered by b when it passes c and that is here and remember here in this case b started from this particular point this is graph of b right so how much is this distance on y axis 
So if you can slide it here till here, we have to find out how many boxes are there here. If you start counting from here, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you take 9 or you can even take 9.5, you get a different answers. But here, I will be taking only 9. You can even take 9.5. We have already seen that one division, one division is equal to 4 by 7 meter, right? In the previous example, which is of C. So, if one division is 4 by 7 meter, what is a 9 division mean, which is equal to 9 into 4 by 7? That is 36 by 7, which is equal to 5 point approximately 1. You can even consider this as 9.5 and calculate your own value. So, this is approximate distance. So, 5.1 meter is the answer for the last option.